Hey folks, welcome back to Time to Morp, a colony sim management game. We checked it out last time with the first episode and got the basics down. We made a couple of uh, areas to corral the morps and earn resources from things like this uh, simple chest. So it looks like I can quickly collect resources from there. We also built this well, and I think we're going to build a second one right here. Can't build more. Huh, okay. I guess there's some... Wait, do I need resources for this? No, I have the resources I need, but we can't build more. So there's limits on how many we can build. But we can go ahead and gather all 30 of the water here. Inventory's full. All right. Right, so we can only carry 40 liquid at a time. All right, okay. So um, where we left off, we were trying to build the manual pebble cooker. Uh, in order to do that, we need to research it. So let's go into research and see about that. Um, let's see. Where would that be? Battery cooker, pebble cooker. Okay, so we need the cooking pot to begin with. So we're going to research cooking pot, which is going to unlock. You can build an extra copy of this building cooking pot. So I guess you start at zero. And the additional copy grants you one. Uh, we'll have a new recipe, fruit jello, an energy drink, and we can unlock social questing. You can take and complete quests from the crew and morps. Okay, let's complete that. Now, before we actually go ahead and research Pebble Cooker, why don't we build the cooking pot and see what fruit jello and the other thing are? All right, so if we go to tab, we can build a cooking pot for 20 water and 20 electron. I guess we can put this down wherever we want. Over here seems pretty decent. Let's get that down. And then let's interact with this. So eat open, fruit jello, outputs a dish that the crew might enjoy, an energy drink, a dish that the crew might enjoy, so we need energy cells and water, and here we need tech fruit and jello. Hmm. Produced by water morp, produced by tech point. Contained in lake, produced by well, produced by pink morp. So we've built this cooking pot, but we can't actually use it yet. Uh, we don't have the morps we need. One thing we could do is double down on our resource production by going and making another area with these types of morphs and another area with the red types of morphs that we made over in that direction. But I think for now we'll just follow the quest line. I think that's probably the best way to uh, advance our technology in the story here. Let's see if the crew has anything to say. I need my house before I can help you with the rest. Mm -hmm. I need my house before I can help you with the rest. Okay, I'm guessing this is the same for the others. Yeah, okay. So, it said we could take a quest from a morp as well, but we can't talk to them. Makes sense. They're creatures that don't have language skills. All right, let's go back into tech, and let's now research this manual pebble cooker. We'll automatically collect resources from the ground and process them into a new resource. One, I think that's proton, gives five pebbles. Okay. So, let's see. We could put it in here, but then we wouldn't be able to collect the raw proton. I think what we want to do here is find another proton deposit set and create another enclosure. So let's scan for, let's see, blue morphs. Not sure what neutral means here. Play with me. Do a play emote with a blue morp for third. Oh, is this a quest? Oh, yeah, that's a quest. Okay. Uh, young red morp, do a pet emote. Unknown. Unknown. So I'm not sure what neutral means. These are, yeah, these are social quests for how much they like us. We have to discover this morp. Okay. So I think the hearts mean that they have quests for us. The captain, build a captain's house to access social quests. Okay. Build an engineer's house, explorer's house, and cook's house. All right. Okay. Uh, we could scan for some things, but let's let's start by scanning for proton. All right, so there's something over here. 
Now wait, is this, these are proton, right? Yeah, so why don't we build a second area here? And this one will build the pebble cooker inside. I think that makes sense. All right, so. Let's see, what's the way to do this? Um, so we got a nice space here. That seems good. And then we'll come over to the right like this. And I think we'll grow it north a little bit just to get this other piece inside. And then we want it to be fairly large for them. So wait a minute, max connections? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, the, the building interface is a little wonky. Not enough resources, okay. Let me mine a little bit here. And then we'll go back into building and complete this area. Okay. So we've got another uh, area that can produce protons for us. I need to get some warps inside. Uh, now, let me remember how this works. Um, so I want to go to the wiki, right? And look at the blue morp. Uh, let's see. Keep morps happy. Home theme or techno theme and 1 to 10 morps. So what is the theme of this area? Area size is 151. Suitable. So that's just large enough. No tech, no signs, free space, 81%. And then, I'm trying to remember how I changed the home theme. This got auto-selected. Alright. So they like the techno theme too, but we don't have a way to... I'll probably we have to research this? Not suitable. Have an area tech sign. Okay, we would need to be able to build a tech sign. Let's stick with the home theme. And let's get some more morphs in there. We could build a third area over here if we wanted. There's more of this, uh, more of the proton here. I believe we can hold up to three morps. That's three. Yeah, I can only hold three at a time. All right. So let's build out this area and turn it into pebble production by building the pebble cooker inside it. Okay, there's, I think, six of them. So there's seven and eight. And we'll get two more and we'll have a new area full of proton producing morphs. They're not afraid of us. They're very easy to gather up and pick up. Okay, so now in this area we want to build the pebble cooker. And apparently we can have as many of these as we want. You can see there's numbers on the cooking pot and the well. But there's no number on the cook pedal cooker. So let's just place this in the middle. Oh, what am I missing? I need two more proton. All right. Let's put the pebble cooker down. So if I understand correctly, it'll just collect up raw pebbles. Or raw proton as these guys produce it. Now what is this? No resources to produce. All right, we're gonna need them to. We're gonna need to wait for them to produce some uh, some proton, I guess. There's some spare proton now. I wonder if I can actually just toss this on the ground near the pebble cooker. Let's see. Uh, proton. Hold to fill. Hold to throw. Yeah. So it is working as intended. It's sucking things in. It's got five out of five. Processing, which takes time. And then it'll produce up to 25 pebbles for us. Okay. Um, so, I'm thinking... Actually, if we come over here and take a look at this guy, our little chest here. 
I'm still not used to the camera. Uh, this is almost full. So we might actually want both a simple chest and a cooker uh, in each of these enclosures. So let me gather up the proton we have right now. How are they doing with 180, 202, 208? I'm not sure if they consume the resources or not. Let's place another pebble cooker in here. What am I missing? Uh, electron. Okay. Let's head over to the electron farm. It's over in this direction somewhere. Boy, the night and day cycle passes through pretty quickly. It's a pretty rapid uh, day and night cycle. I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we've got 50 electrons stored here, thanks to the red morphs. And we do have a social quest to use the pet emo um, emote on one of the red morphs, so we can check that out. Uh, but for now, let's also build a simple chest here. So we'll have a simple chest collect proton, and then extra proton will be turned into pebbles. And we'll do the same thing in our second thing over here. Let's get the pebble cooker down. Okay. So as these guys produce proton, some of it will go into the chest, some of it will go into pebble production. we got two areas set up for that. That seems good. Now we do have the social quest to use the pet emote on a red morph thingamajig. A red morp. So let's go take care of that. Alright, so I'm trying to remember what the em emote key is. Is it B? Yeah, okay. So let me target this red morp. I'll hit the B key. Oh, I don't have a pet emote. Which one would be pet? I guess this one? Maybe that's something I have to research. Okay, so we can't do that. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the quest log here. So we got the pebble cooker. Now it's telling us build stairs, build a road, research a road. And it also wants us to find a tech plant. We've got two different uh, quests here. Why don't we start by uh, going into the morp wiki here. So water's new, fruit jello's new, energy drink is new. Tech plant, lake. Okay. Let's uh, scan for the tech plant. Throw water on a plant when it is thirsty. You can gather fruit yourself or it will be dropped on the floor after a short time. Diet of water, production of tech fruit. All right, let's scan and see what we find. Okay, so there's some way over here. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a sprint uh, key in this game. You, There doesn't seem to be a way to speed up movement. So hopefully later we get either a jetpack or a vehicle or something. I guess a vehicle would be a little on the rough side given that there's all these elevation changes, but maybe there's something that speeds us up. Okay, so throw water on a plant when it's thirsty. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. And let's... Okay, we threw water on this plant. Okay. So now they should start producing fruit. Hmm. Fruit dropped in one minute. I see. So it's kind of a kind of a serious wait to get the fruit after you give water to the plant. Um, I think there were some more around here. So why don't we scan for more? Okay, there's some over here as well. Now that I know what they look like, I feel like we... Oh, you're a different... You're a slightly different color. No, you're white. Huh. Okay. So there's different kinds of white, I guess? Let's splash this plant. And you as well. And you? Seems good. We're going to need to get some more water when we head home. Okay, so they're producing fruits. Let's go over to the first group. Looks like they're dropping right now. Oh, I fell in a chasm. Okay. So I want to make sure... I think he just ate the fruit. Yeah, he ate the fruit that I wanted. Hold on, did I get one? I think I got one, and then we got these new morphs. Okay, um... This is a tech morp. Do 
do a play emote with the tech morp. So to keep them happy, they want the home theme and three to six morps. They eat the fruits and we don't actually know what they produce. Let's look at the panel here. Can't sleep. Hmm. All right, so they can't sleep because... Hmm. I think he's prevented from sleeping because we're interacting with him. Or maybe not. Let's see. Let's see what this one says. No, again, he's hungry. He wants tech fruit or candy. Production is paused while the status is enabled. Uh, Morp can sleep only at night and only if there's an empty spot to lay down. Morp requires uninterrupted sleep to become rested. So he's not producing because he's hungry. So the problem we have in getting fruit for ourselves is that the Morps are coming up and eating it as soon as we uh, produce the water. So I think what we need to do, first of all, we need to head back and get more water. And then we need to fence the area with the, with the plants off and water it and grow the, the fruit for ourselves rather than allowing the, the white morphs to eat it and become blue morphs or the blue morphs to eat it and produce whatever they produce. Okay, there's some more water. Uh, what we are going to need though is proton to build a wall. There's none here because this is producing pebbles or it's not quite yet. Maybe we'll go over to the other one. So what's going on over here? You have three. You're full. You have 25 pebbles. All right, I'll take the first batch, and then we'll let this continue producing. Meanwhile, we need more proton, so we're going to have to go out and find it. Why don't I scan for that? And let's find a supply that isn't in currently in use. Where we can just harvest some. And then we'll go over and enclose, enclose the trees. And hopefully that will allow us to uh, produce the fruit for ourselves. Okay, was there more over here? Oh, there's something interesting here. What is this? A quark can be found in the wild. Quark hunter, one of ten. Okay. Now, where might there be more interesting stuff? We've got a treasure chest here. There's another, I think that's a token of decor. And it looks like we're at the edge of the walkable area, and it's just ocean out here afterwards. Which presumably is death, or at least uninteresting border. Um, I think I need more protons still. Let's see. All right, there's some over here that I don't think we've uh, taken advantage of. Let's see if we can find it. There's one of those weird black morphs. They're rare and special, I think, but I'm not sure we know how to house them yet. Okay. <clears throat> we should see some proton over here somewhere. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, I see it now. Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's some on the ground. If not, we can do some mining. And yeah, there's a little bit on the ground here. Yeah, quite a bit. I feel like 150 should be enough. All right, let's get back to the trees, or rather the fruits, the plants, the fruit plants. And we'll try to fence it off. Uh, here's another decor point. I'm not sure what those are for yet, the token of decor, but we'll find out eventually. Let's go ahead and scan for the tech fruit to get ourselves back on track here. It's over in this direction somewhere. Yeah, we're headed in the right direction. Okay.
A little bit of frame lag here and there. It's mostly smooth. Or has been up to this point. Alright, fruit plants, where are you? Alright. So, we need to fence this off. Right? And get any morps out of it. So, let's build a fence. Uh, now, hold on a minute. Do I want it that close? Because they can drop near, right? Let's do, let's do something like this. Instead of making one big area, let's just fence off. I don't understand that. I don't understand the way this works. So, like, I'm drawing a line like this. Uh, I have to let go at each edge. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I can't... There we go. Okay, so now if I feed you... Hopefully the idea is you drop your fruit inside your enclosure and then... The other dudes can't, uh... Can't, the little morps can't eat it. Let's build a second fence here. Okay, and then let's feed you, and then let's do that one more time here. I might have to tear these down later. Um, okay, we're going to need to get rid of this, uh, this stump, I think. So if I harvest the wooden sticks, it'll disappear? Maybe? Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, and nice, yeah, so this guy produced a fruit. You know what, let me rebuild this. I like, I like the idea, I know it's, I know it's an aesthetic choice, but I like the idea of having like clean squares here. Okay, so you've got... Well, now, why is this one rectangular and this one square? I guess this takes up two squares. Yeah, this needs to be one higher. Okay. There we go. And then you... So I don't think I can do anything about... No. I don't think I can do anything about this plant here. I don't think there's any way for me to remove it, which means I probably need to go like that, unfortunately. Uh, let me pick you up and get you out. Okay, so I think we've got a couple tech fruits now. We can continue farming them by feeding water to these plants. Right? And then if we wanted to, we could... <coughs> Excuse me. Make like a... Make a larger enclosure around them. And instead, like we could replace this and put the white morphs in and turn them into tech morphs. But I think instead of doing that, I will go over to this other location and make a different enclosure here for blue tech morphs. That seems like a plan to me. All right, so let's clear out some space here for them. And gather some resources while we're at it. Can't do anything about the trees or the plants. So let's see what we can build here. Yeah, okay. So you, you just want to uh, draw in straight lines. You want to avoid trying to do turns and such.
It'll kind of do some of it for you, but not perfectly. Let's get as far as that. Get rid of this rock. And then try to finish out the enclosure. Okay. So, um, I don't know how we would continue to have the fruits grow. Because you would need to come and water them. So we need like a sprinkler system. Some sort of automatic watering system. And obviously we don't have access to that yet. But we can get a few morps in here for sure. Let me head back and collect up the fruit we should have farmed over here. Now the walls should have kept the morps out, I hope. Yep, okay. So there's one, two, three tech fruits. All right. And then let's go ahead and water the plants. Then we'll go over to the other location. We'll snag up some of these guys. Okay, there's three morphs. I think for blues it said six was the max. So let's get six of these guys in here. And we'll turn them into blue morphs for now. I mean... I wonder how many... Can you... I wonder if you can... I wonder if you can put down more than one water. It's resting. And then it's thirsty again. Okay. So you would have to kind of like hang out nearby and continually water these things unless you had some sort of automatic watering system. Uh, we got... Hold on. We got two different types of morps here. Uh, it doesn't say what this is. Oh, that's a tech morp. This is a water morp. Lives near water. Produces resources. Wait, what? Water morp. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So if we can get him to produce water for the plants, then that's the sprinkler system. All right, let me check the wiki here. Water morp. Okay. Keeps morps happy. Water theme and home theme. Lives near water. Produces resources. Production. Jello. Drop water on a white morp. Oh, I accidentally made one of these. Okay. So what do they eat? Where's the water morp? They eat... Does it say in here? Production disabled by area theme. Wants water. Requires water theme. Okay. It's not crowded. It's safe. It's rested. Uh, I thought this thing was supposed to tell you what they ate. Well, let's feed the plants for now. There's a tech fruit right there. Okay, so what is your deal? Um, you eat tech candy. To level up. Production is disabled by the area theme in the food category. All right. Food category. Hungry. Eats tech fruit and candy. So we need to keep watering the plants to get them tech fruit to eat. And then they produce... Whatever this is. Some sort of atomic thing? Requires home theme. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's at least set the home theme. Not suitable. Area should be bigger. Okay. We can make the area bigger. We can do that. Okay. So the home theme is suitable. What about the water theme? Build area near enough water. Only 33, so that won't work. And we need a water sign, which we don't have. Okay. So the, the water morph may not be able to do anything. But if I look at these guys... Okay, he's hungry. He's sleeping. It's crowded. There are seven morphs around. Let's take the water morph out. 
You can go do something else. Let's feed the plants. I don't know exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to understand. Okay, he's produced a tech point. Does that go in my inventory? Tech point, quark. I don't understand what a tech point is. It must be used for research. I would think, right? All right, well, we originally... I guess I'll leave this as is for now. We originally came over here to get the tech fruits to give to the cook. So we've got seven out of five. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, did I not water these guys? I guess I didn't. That was a waste. There we go. So they'll produce some more. I guess we can come back and get more later. And for now, we should have plenty of resources available over at our chests, including pebbles and proton. So we'll collect that up. No resources to produce. Oh, wait, why are these guys unhappy? Hold on. Hungry. This is empty as well. Wait a minute, why are they hungry? Wants home or techno theme. Currently in no theme. I thought we had the home theme here. No tech. Remove from area manual pebble cooker. Oh. Oh, okay. So I can't I can't have this here? So they won't eat if there's tech in the area. Oh, that's really interesting. So I sort of thought that okay, well I guess you guys understand what I thought, right? That the extra stuff would be uh, produced there. So wait a minute. If I go to techno theme, I need this tech sign. And then maybe I could have the cooker in there. In the meantime, these guys haven't been producing anything because I've been ruining their home. Right? Yeah, none of them are eating. Okay. Ah, okay. So that was a bit of a mistake. But hey, we learned something. So, wait a minute, if I... Okay, first of all, I have the tech fruits for the cook. Let me take care of that first, and then we'll see about building a tech sign. Maybe that's something we can research. Hey. Nice weather today, don't you think? Oh. Fresh, ripe, sweet. I know exactly what I'm going to cook with these. Oh. Would it be possible for you to build me something? A spot where I can cook? Oh. Tell me if I'm asking too much. Thank you. Hmm. By the way, do mops eat fruits? I wonder. Okay. Uh, so our current quest... Yep, there we go. Research the manual jello cooker. Research the captain's house. Research the simple sprinkler. There is a sprinkler. Okay. So I built the cooking station. That's already done. Do I tell him about it? Hmm. Water and energy cells. Or water and tech fruits. No, jello and tech fruits. So jello's produced by the water morps. We learned about that. Um, research manual jello cooker. Yeah, there's a there's a lot to do. There's a lot of quests on the board suddenly. Uh, looks like I have a tutorial for watering plants. Build a simple sprinkler to automate watering your plants. Fill it with water by holding the button. Plants will drop fruits after a short time. You can move fruits to another area with a resource pump. Chests do not store fruits or liquids. Okay. I sort of understand. You can see in the game, in, in the screenshot here, they're starting to build more like well thought out and laid out areas and such. So we can build fruits here and then pump them with a resource source pump over to somewhere else. Interesting, okay. Um, I would like to find out about researching the tech sign. We're in areas, right? Label. Area places. La label places, areas, or chests. The captain's house. The gardener's house. The forest sign. Inventory chest. Lost and found. The tech sign's over here. Okay. I'm kind of interested in getting to the tech sign. So it looks like we need to go through the forest sign first. For which we need tech points, and we know how to earn those now. It's just going to be a kind of a slow process. We got the wooden sticks. 
We're going to need tech points. We're going to need 30 tech points. Okay. So, the little dudes over here eat the fruit and, produ and produce tech points, right? These guys. So, we need a sprinkler then to continually sprinkle the fruit, and we need a simple chest as well. Now, wouldn't this sprinkler be tech? But... Um... Let's see, do we have another theme we can use? Home theme. I wonder if this sprinkler counts as tech or not. If it does, well, hold on, let's see. Um, I guess I need to research the sprinkler. So that would be under logistics? Bowl, no. Um, not upgrade, not areas, not logistics. Power? Wind generator, discharger, no. Crafting. Manual battery cooker, manual jello cooker. All right, so manual pebble cooker. I guess because it's called manual, you have to fill it up. Tech candy cooker. Pocket stove. I don't see... Oh, gardening. Here we go. Gather flowers. Simple sprinkler. Okay. So I need tech points... And jello. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. So I'm gonna have to manually farm tech points off of these guys, aren't I? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So really, I should probably turn this one into a second preserve to speed this up. Yeah, I think I definitely need to do this. Okay. And then let me get rid of this rock. Okay, now, can you be home-themed? Uh, it's not quite large enough. All right. So, we can fix that here. Let's check. Okay, this is a suitable home theme. So we'll feed, we'll water the plants, and then we'll get up to six morps in here. So we got two already. Three. Three and four. And then five. And I need one more. Six. Come here, you. Okay, so we need to start farming the tech points, which means going back and forth and watering the plants and letting the morps eat the fruit so that they produce the tech points. Let's start by watering. And then why don't we build a simple chest here to collect for us? Nice, okay. Now we'll hop back over to the other one. These guys have to turn into morps first or turn into the tech morps first before they start producing. Let's see. None of the plants are thirsty. They're still... Yeah, they're just about to produce. And now you should be thirsty again, right? You're resting first. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so they'll produce three more fruits. And we'll come back over here. What do we got? 23 water? Okay, so we're farming tech points right now, which is fine. You're at 50 seconds. All right, got it. So you're about to produce fruit for these guys who are hungry. And they will produce tech points for me. And then I can water you and head back over to area two. I guess they're asleep right now, but they'll eat the fruits as soon as they work, wake up. 
And the plants obviously don't sleep, so as soon as they've produced, we can feed them more water. How long have you got? Yeah, so a little bit of waiting involved here. Um, this is the early game, right? When we kind of have to do everything manually before we can automate. So there's going to be some waiting around and, you know, some kind of like tedious, some tedium is a good way to put it, as we're slowly producing the things we need to automate and then not have to do that anymore. Let's go ahead and throw down a little chest here as well. So we're starting to build up some resources. There's some tech points. And head back over here, collect what we've got there. I think we need t either 10 or 20 for the sprinkler, was it? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see how many we've got. We've got 12, okay. Now, interestingly, it looks like the chest is not, no, okay, it just took a minute for it to update. There must be some code that like runs every once in a while for the chest to find things inside its enclosure and collect it. There we go. We are gonna need more of those tech points, I can tell you that, but let's see what it's gonna take to research this sprinkler. So, we're going to need 20, we have 15, and then we're going to need jello, which means we're going to need to figure out the water morph thing, too. Alright. Well, we're pretty close to having the tech points we need. We're also pretty close to being at the end of the episode. I'm starting to dig this. Like, there's some interesting systems here, and the opportunities for automation are also interesting to me. Like, they're showing you, like, I, I like when games do this, right? They, ah, oh, damn it, I, I turned one of these guys into something. You're not what I want. I wanted to feed the plant. All right, so you go away. And you come inside. Now, what are you? A science morph? Where did you come from? What is a science morph? Feed science morph with knowledge. All right, well, you gotta leave. So I need to water the plant carefully here and make sure I don't create another water morph. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying is I like it when games kind of teach you the slow way to do it to make sure you understand the concept and then, and then pretty quickly give you the opportunity to automate away the work. I think that's a clever way of doing things in this type of game. All right. Uh, let's see. Do I have any here? Okay, I think that gets us the 20 for the research. Yeah, we have the 20 uh, tech points to research the simple sprinkler. Now we need to collect jello. Now, I think we could get that from the water morphs or by building the manual jello collector, which we had to do for the chef anyway. Although, here's a question how do I research that? Manual jello collector needs 20 water. And 20 electron. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. We should be able to do that, no problem. Oh, and I can gather up some proton as well. Let's get some water. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some electron. Let's get some more proton here. Nice. Let's head over to Electron Town, make sure that's working as intended. Yep, okay. And with that, we should be able to now research the manual jello cooker. We can. Okay. So guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I don't know. The game is slowly growing on me. It's a little... How do I put this? It's not exactly janky. It's it's um, it's low tier. It's it's like low end double A. It's, it's not got the polish that a... a more, I mean, I've used the word polish. It's not got the refinement that a more polished game has. It's it's like a little bit on the, I'm not holding your hand or making it easy for you, figure it out on your own kind of a thing. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, but I do like a game that's a little bit smoother in introducing you to new concepts rather than just giving you a checklist. Like it's a little bit bland, but um, the systems themselves are kind of interesting to me. I'm kind of enjoying the game so far. 
Now that we've unlocked the jello cooker, we'll go ahead and build that next time and use it to make some jello. And then after that, we'll keep researching new techs and building out our automation and our mort farms and figuring out how this game works and building up our colony. So uh, that is going to be it for this time. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Time to Morp. It's a fun word. Morp. 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 Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.